Hi, one of the best VR videos. I'm Peter Lushak. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. This is the NBA Odds Couple Show. The uh, second half starts tomorrow, Mike I'm Brenner. Ready. We're going to come with our picks for individual games tomorrow. But today, on Wednesday, we're going to preview the Western Conference. Mike Brenner, a lot of it is kind of the Western Conference actually more interesting than the Eastern Conference. Oh, that's where the yeah. winner's at. I mean, I don't a think lot more any teams. Doubt. Yeah, a lot this more, year more than any, Pete. That's my, my yeah, opinion. Yeah, a lot more teams with uh, with Stark. In, in the East, there's a lot of 50 50 exactly. ATS. Uh, in the West, a lot of win teams with winning ATS records, a lot of teams losing ATS records. Let's start with the two most interesting teams, of course, Golden Imagine State that. and the Spurs. Overall, awesome ATS records in the first half, but both teams closed. Very, very mediocre. Yes. Uh, uh, ATS, let's see the records here. Golden State, just 8-7. and seven. ATS over their last 15. The Spurs, just 4-6. and six. ATS over their last 10. But, of course, they were great bets uh, overall. What do you expect from either or both those teams well, going forward? Well, I've got an interesting thought, and I think it's going to uh, come to fruition. Uh, Golden State, mm -hmm. right, and I've heard some chatter, they now know that that, that record is within reach. Okay, mm -hmm. 73 wins to top the, the 72, you know, for the Bulls. Sure. And guess what? That plays into the minds, and they're going to want to run and gun, I think. I think that towards the first half of the second half mm -hmm. of the season, all right, if, if that makes any sense, the first couple three to four weeks, I like Golden State really? going after wins because they want that no matter what. They already know that they can win this thing, yeah. right? No one has stood up to them really solidly, and they blew apart the Spurs. So right. I think that, that's a big fact. That does tend to be the pattern with teams like yeah. that. Like we saw with the, with the Patriots, bank with the Pats, they would be like, they would be blowing out teams uh, yeah. and be a good bet for like the first three quarters of the season. And then the last quarter, yeah. the line starts to get inflated. They start to pull back a and little bit. And that's called so, picking your spots. Right. What do you think about this? Do you think that they'll rush and, and, and push the big leads and, and try to rest their stars towards the second half of games? Very possible. Possibly, but I'm sure we'll start to see the trends happen as the uh, as okay. the uh, yeah. But my my sense is I agree with you. My sense is that if the lines are going to get inflated with the Golden State, likely to happen in the last few sure. weeks, not in the first few weeks. All right, and then we have uh, wow. Okay, let's talk about OKC. Well, you, see, you said the Spurs. I got to throw yeah, this in I mean, because speaking of inflated lines, I look for this pattern too. Popovich, as the season gets on, like after the next three weeks, look for Popovich on the road with big spreads mm -hmm. to rest his starters mm -hmm. without announcing it. He's famous for yeah, it yeah. this year yeah. more than any because guess what? Those guys are getting older. All right. So I like that, and you were very good at picking that earlier with yes. a large line. All right, and I'm telling you, teams like Philadelphia, when they go there and they're getting, you know, the minus 12, that might be the spots to jump in with the Spurs. This is mm -hmm. after the next two to three weeks. Watch that pattern. Right, right, right. Yeah, I was very good at uh, at, at predicting of what would happen with the Spurs, you. but I was not good at at having the balls to actually make them as picks. <laughs> Speaking of having balls, real quick, i got to throw <laughs> yeah, this in, sure, all right? Sure. And this was suggested by one of the heffies up, yeah. upstairs. Mm -hmm. What do you think about a, a little bet challenge for the next? If I win my next two, all right, mm -hmm. then you got to shave. All right, if you win your <laughs> okay. next two and I lose, then I got to grow a beard. All right, and that was recommended from someone upstairs. Think about it, food for thought. Okay, I'll think about right. it. I'll think about it. All right. <laughs> right now, let's think a little bit more about the teams of the Western yeah. Conference, OKC. Good team, yes. great team. Twenty-two and thirty-two against the spread, though. Up overall, seven and seventeen against spread on the road. What do yep. you expect from OKC? Continue to be overvalued? I, no, no, I don't. I, can, mm. I think they're going to continue to really gel, and I think that Billy Donovan and everybody learning each other's style is going to kind of give into the fact that this team loves running. I'm going to have to implement defense somewhere else, maybe mm -hmm. under the boards, but not on a shutdown D. I'm going to be looking at Oklahoma City to cover some halves like they used to do it in the past, but. Not as frequent, so I'm going to have to pick my spots, and I'm going to sharpen these numbers because I'm going to hit some of them. I like OKC. Really? Watch out. I think the Spurs, Golden State, and OKC, all right, those three I think can beat anybody in the East if they mm -hmm. all came to the finals. Sure. All right. And then let me ask you about Houston, another team that disappointed more yeah. often Head than case. not. You called it yep. two weeks ago. Head 20, case team. 23 and 32 against the spread. Yeah. And uh, they are 32 and 23 over under yeah. on the year. They are both they were evenly split at uh, yeah. at home and on the road. Drama. So pretty clearly a team that is having some issues with defense, trending over and trending as a bad bet. Do you think that continues? Yeah. Well, I do. I think that team is going to remain a mess. I mean, between Dwight Howard and yeah. the everyday talk of trades and then uh, James Kardashian Harden <laughs> on all the drama there. Seriously, that team, I'm staying away from them. If anything, I might fade them, mm -hmm. but they're capable of doing little spurts of, you know, a couple wins and covering. So, but they're a mess. All right. One other team that I want to ask you about, uh, the Lakers, you know, a team that, well, obviously an awful team. Yeah. And obviously, and also a team, yes, a team that was uh, overvalued for much of the first half, but 
they closed with five straight covers. Yeah. Did you know did. that, Mike Brad? Well, you, you yeah. made me aware of that right before the All Star game. Yeah. And, and what I like about that is the younger guys are really starting to learn from some of the veterans that are still there. Believe it or not, Meta World Peace, whatever the hell his name is this week, mm -hmm. um, that guy, he's still there. But they are. They're really getting in the heads of these young guys. They might be an interesting team. Yeah. At to, some to, point. Exactly. Especially on like a teaser value. If you're into doing teasers, something like that with the Lakers and, a, and a lo getting a lot of points, think about that on a teaser. But they closed the first half with five straight covers. A lot yeah. of times momentum switches. And Kobe was on fire now, those yeah. five. Remember that? Kobe hit double digits every game, yeah. and he was in the 20s for those games. My sense is that they're going to be sluggish once again, ATS, to yeah. start the second half, but yeah. maybe at a, at a different point. Right. They'll, and I think they'll Kobe's going to be hurting because he tried to put everything out there on the floor at the All-Star break, and I think he might have screwed his shoulder up even more. Mm -hmm. And then one other interesting team that I don't know what to expect from them in the second half, but they certainly closed the first half, interestingly, is uh, Sacramento. Oh, no, Sac Sacramento. Ooh, yeah, another uh, they closed 1-9 and nine yeah. against the spread in their last 10 games, and they also went over yeah. in eight of those games. Okay. So that tells you everything you need to know right there. No defense. Uh, nope. They were getting beat bad yep. against the spread, and the, their games were going over. Uh, I does that continue? I don't know. They were still an undercredit at home on the I, I, And you know what me, I think outside the box when it comes to betting. What you do? do you think? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Pete. Absolutely. I okay. do. What, what, how do you think about How would you like to be George Carl? All right, he's been rumored to be like fired. To be Here's what they finally came up with. We're going to let him coach the end of the year. Then we're going to fire him and the general manager. Mm -hmm. All right, where is his incentive to do good? And where's the player's incentive to play for this guy? Guess what? They might tank. That might be a you thing think to so? fade, fade, fade. And DeMarcus Cousins, he's going to demand a trade. Get the hell out of there, buddy. So maybe the overs continue then. Kind of like yeah. It could be game. no defense overs all star game. Yeah, I like that. All right, very interesting uh, in the West. Uh, obviously, yeah. these trends can can change on a dime. Starkly, is there any team that we didn't uh, that you think is interesting? Well, the we Clippers. Didn't we yeah. didn't bring up the Clippers, and uh, again, was a kind of a head case team. But I'm hearing more strongly than ever that they can deal uh, uh, Blake Griffin away. They're mm -hmm. not afraid of dealing him away and pulling something in. But they've learned to play uh, with each other. The the, the uh, roster they have now, and they've been covering a little bit going into the all star break. Yeah, they're fifty fifty ish right yeah, now. Fifty fifty. I, I think. I think, if anything, they'll push that more upwards to the 60%. So I like the Clippers. They're healthy right now. So, All right. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So, Mike Brenner, if you had to pick one team from the West that you think is going to do well in the first few weeks uh, going forward, ATS, which would yeah, it be? Just, no just a soft prediction? One team, I'm going to say Golden State because mm -hmm. I think in their heads they're like, hey, let's get a bunch of wins. We want that record. Golden State's my pick on that mm. one. And my pick, yeah. I, you know, I guess it might be just the Spurs overall. Say, uh, is there any way that they're going to go with through? And I don't like, I usually never disagree with this man, but, but I th really that, why? If, I, because I think the veteran, they're going to start looking at let's rest, let's rest. The they're going to try to get manage traded. games in mm. the line. Exactly. If anything, I'd say OKC. I, mm, you might be right. Maybe I'll switch it to Denver or Portland. Both those teams are kind of under the radar teams that, yes, they uh, are. that have done well. ATS, which team do you like better, Denver or Portland going forward? Portland. Portland, 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 Damian Lillard. This team's playing great. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, straight up, all right, they really, really went into the break hot. That's a hot yeah. team. Closed 7-2 yeah, Denver. ATS. Denver, yeah. though, closed on a 12-2 yeah. ATS. Gallinari, right. he's got some nagging injuries that they're saying they're keeping hidden. So mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I all like right. Portland on that one. I'll, yeah. I'll switch my soft prediction from, from the Spurs to Portland. Okay. All right, Easily I can, swayed. Yeah. Hey. I can feel the pressure coming on. Tomorrow yeah. is I'm Thursday. I'm excited. No yep. pressure. It Come starts on. No, it's good pressure in a good way. Pressure in a good Don't forget the bet because you might be shaving. Yes, I might. Yes, I might. Tomorrow is Thursday. We will be back with some picks for the Thursday card. Have a great day, Pete.